recognize. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I think everyone agrees that medical research using human tissue should adhere to ethical standards. Um, there is no disagreement. Um, but as Dr. Goldstein and every researcher in America knows, that is true for all human tissue. Um, if I wanted to donate tissue as part of a research study, the use of my tissue would be overseen by an institutional review board and subject to strict ethical and legal rules. I am an organ donor. I assume many people in this room are organ donors. And if an accident took place and any of us were in a position where our organs would be donated, the use of our organs to save someone else's life would rightfully be subject to similar ethical guidelines. Rules guiding scientific research should be crafted in a reasonable and deliberate manner, and they should be crafted by science, not by ideology. Um, as Professor Charo pointed out, diseases also do not discriminate. The majority's attacks on research are an attack on all Americans' health, um, because nearly everyone in this country has benefited from research um, involving fetal tissue. Um, Dr. Goldstein, as you know, medical breakthroughs come after years of incremental progress, uh, often starting with very basic research that was conducted sometimes for an entirely different purpose, and we learned something that was very relevant to move forward in a different area. Our greatest discoveries might have gone undiscovered if we would cut off avenues of basic research that didn't seem promising at the time. So how would you respond to claims that this research isn't useful or necessary anymore? Well, I, I don't disagree that it is not useful or not necessary any longer. And the fact is, as you correctly recognize, of 100 times that we start testing a therapy, 90 or 95 percent of the time it is a dry well. We fail more often than we succeed, but we persist. What we learn from the failures is important to help us figure out how to be successful in the future. So clarify, you do think that it is useful and necessary to continue this type of research? Oh, absolutely, yes. Um, if Republicans were successful in cutting off this research, um, would potential for medical breakthroughs be slowed or, or stopped altogether? It, it would be slowed. And could you speak about some of the work that is going on right now, the ongoing research in this area? Well, I mean, if if our clinical trials with fetal neural stem cells and spinal cord injury were halted, I think that would be a terrible shame because I think it is one of our most promising avenues. It is not just us that have seen these properties with these cells. It has been repeated in other labs. It looks like a very good, fertile ground, and I would hate to see it stalled. Same and do for you, our work do you on think Alzheimer's. there would be ethical implications to not continuing that type of research? You know, we owe it to our descendants what kind of world we give them. And I know that can be taken in a variety of different ways. But <clears throat> we are following the law. We are doing work that has been deemed ethical by the mainstream scientific community. And it is work that looks as though it is going to be very promising. I, I wonder if I might give you one comment. You know, in Parkinson's disease, fetal tissue research is sometimes pointed to as having not been successful because it didn't yield in and of itself a cure. The fact is that fetal tissue research has taught us what now to do with embryonic stem cells and perhaps with reprogrammed stem cells. So even in that case, we learned a lot about how not to do things, how to avoid overdosing tissue, what types of cells to make in the future. I agree. I did medical research when I started my career, and sometimes the things that didn't go, as you anticipated, actually yield the greatest learning. Yeah. Um, um, folks brought up earlier that the there has been a series of su subpoenas and sweeping overbroad document requests demanding names of patients, doctors, medical students, um, all who are involved in women's health care and vital medical research without really any legitimate reason for doing so. I wondered if you believe that that kind of environment is conductive to academic freedom and scientific advancement. No, I, I think it is terrible when researchers have to worry about their personal safety. And do you think the political climate can have a chilling effect on scientific research going forward if that continues? Uh, it is already having it. It is already having it. In what way are you seeing that today? So, <clears throat> so there is another project that I am involved with uh, that has basically seen uh, 
supply of fetal material dry up completely. And it was a very promising therapy for MS. Thank you. My time's expired. I yield back, Madam Chair. Thank the gentlelady, Ms. Hartz.